Hi everyone, so in this video I'm going to be filling a sketchbook page. It's going to be a lot of real-time sketching of how I sort of build up a bunch of sketches on a page and sort of pull them all together to make a cohesive spread. And it's really not that complicated. I don't put a lot of thought into my sketchbook pages or spreads. They don't have to look a certain way, but I'm just going to be talking about that and showing my sketching process. So if you like to draw while you watch these videos or do anything else, you can do that. So I really wanted to draw dogs and I went on my Pinterest and I've been finding a lot of dogs wearing snow coats and hats and like winter gear and I was really inspired by that and I wanted to draw these cute little dogs and these like really cute little winter coats that they wear. Like the really tall dogs like greyhounds and stuff like that um, with long legs and like the coats that they wear with the long sleeves. I really wanted to draw those. And I also really like the dogs that have um, like winter hats, like long pointy hats. I think those are really cute as well. And I also found a photo of this like girl wearing this like ruffled wizard hat and I drew this sketch inspired by that. And I put my references on my Pinterest if you want to know what photos I was looking at. But not all of these drawings were based off of photos, just the first couple ones I like to base off of pictures that I find because it helps me warm up, which is a good tip, I think, if you are just beginning your, like, sketching session, um, a good way to sort of warm up is to draw from references because you kind of get, get used to your, like, hand-eye coordination. That always helps me because when I start to draw, I find I'm really rusty and things don't really look that good. When I first start the, the sketchbook session, I'm like, have I forgotten how to draw? Because like everything is looking so wonky and I was sort of feeling that in the first few sketches. But after about five, 10 minutes of drawing, I start to like really feel warmed up and I'm like, oh, I can draw anything I want now, which is a nice feeling. So I drew a bunch of these dogs from references. And then I started to draw a few without a reference just to see like how I want to interpret these coats and this like type of dog and how I wanted to stylize them. I think it's really fun to draw from reference and then step away from those references and see what you can create from your own mind based off of the sort of like research that you just did. Um, and I thoroughly enjoy drawing these dogs and I really want to draw more dogs. And I also combined the two types of reference photos that I found, like the girl with the ruffled wizard hat and the dog. And I drew a dog with a ruffled wizard hat, but you'll see that eventually. If you wanna know what supplies I'm using, I will link my sketchbook below because I don't know how to say it. <laughs> but the, the pencil is really just like a cheap mechanical pencil. And I put 2B lead in it because I really like 2B lead. I think it's my favorite type of lead. And lately I've been really getting into using mechanical pencils to sketch again. I used to use them all the time. Um, and then I started using regular pencils for a while and I'm sort of back in the mechanical pencil phase. I go through a lot of phases with my art supplies. Sometimes I'll use one thing for a long time and then I'll sort of switch it up depending on my mood or depending on the kinds of supplies that I've been seeing around me lately. And I don't know if I've really been doing a lot of like traditional drawing lately. I've actually not been doing that much drawing, but I think I've been doing a little bit more drawing than normal because I started this like digital piece, just like a random painting, like a spur of the moment painting. And then um, the sketchbook page was like a spur of the moment thing. I was like, I really, I'm really going to draw right now. I just feel like drawing. And then I wanted to film it. So I was like, I'm just going to film it and see what happens. And then I ended up making it into a video. And I think in general, I've been a bit more excited about art and drawing and just thinking about things that I want to create. Like it sort of feels like I'm sort of getting that spark back with art and it's something that I can like think about that makes me excited. Um, it's not that I like was not excited about art, it just wasn't like one of those things that was at the top of my mind. It's just sort of like oh yeah like drawing is just a thing I do and like I, I like drawing and um I have to make like art for Patreon and I, I do little sketches every once in a while, but lately I've just been thinking about it in a much more like exciting way, which is really cool. And I think it's kind of just like, like looking back at my old art, I think always makes me feel like more inspired. Like I sort of feel like that urge to draw, if that makes sense, which I haven't really like had, but I also don't have a lot of time to draw all the time because there's so many things I'm doing and I have so many hobbies and I'm very busy around this time of year. Um, but I like having that, that urge to draw because it just makes me feel better. Like I'm always in a better mood when I 
am excited about about art and about drawing. So that's a nice thing that's been happening recently. I've just been feeling like really excited to experiment with stuff and I've downloaded some new brushes for Procreate but having a lot of fun with those. I also really like doing my latest painting, the Fennec Fox one. Um, I put it in a forest even though they live in like deserts and stuff but I just really wanted to draw a Fennec Fox in a forest because it just looked very like Christmassy to me even though they're not really that like Christmassy of an animal or like wintery. I, I like to, I don't really like making Christmas themed art. I like making winter themed art because then it's like more relevant year round. Like holiday specific art is something that I, I never really feel that inspired to make because I know I won't really like be able to appreciate it year round. So I did make that, that Fennec Fox painting. It was a lot of fun. I'll be sharing bits of that speed paint in an upcoming like digital art video that I'm working on. Um, but it was also for my December Patreon pack, and this sketchbook page is also for that as well. So if you didn't know, on my Patreon, if you pledge to the highest tier, you get stuff mailed to you, which is 16 US dollars a month, no matter where you live, and shipping is included. And you get little postcard-sized prints, and they're 5 by 7 The Fennec Fox one is 5 by 6 because it just looks better at that ratio. But this sketchbook page is the other print. I do monthly sketchbook pages all compiled into a little print so you can kind of like collect pieces of my sketchbook. And there's a cute little Fennec Fox sticker. Um, I really like him. I think he's really cute. I'm really happy with how this package turned out. I think because I made it while being like very inspired to draw. Um, and I think that's really great. And I'm just like generally excited to see what kinds of stuff I will draw next year. I really like looking back at the year. I posted my like art versus artist Thing, which is where people will put a photo of themselves and put examples of their art that they made over the year and you can compare how your art has grown each year and I think that's a really fun and it's really inspiring and it always inspires me to like continue drawing like I feel like I feel like the way I used to feel when I was like in art school and trying to like develop my style and like really inspired to draw at times but I was also really burnt out at times in art school but there's good moments and bad moments, of course, but um, I just really feel like inspired and creative lately and I need to make use of that more, but I've just been like not drawing as much as I should. I want to sketch a little bit each day. I just really need to set that time aside to do it because I've been like working on products, which takes a lot of like mental energy. It's not a lot of drawing. It's a lot of thinking and planning. And so doing the sketchbook page was a nice like stress reliever. And I just love filling sketchbook pages like this, just doodling whatever you feel like drawing and improving your skills. And every couple of sketches, you might try something new or try something challenging for yourself to push yourself a little bit in the direction you want your art to go. But in general, I've just been really excited about art and about exploring my style and about like exploring color choices and, and like compositions and like subject matter and things that I really want to try. And I'm just really excited in general. And it just feels, it feels really nice to be, to be this excited about drawing. Like, I feel like myself again, like I feel like my artistic self, my artist self is like back sort of. Um, I don't really think it was ever gone, but it just sort of feels like fresh right now for some reason. And that's really fun. I really like when, when that happens. I don't really know if I, if I have advice on like how to get there if, if art is not exciting for you, but I remember feeling the most excited about art when I was a beginner and I was just so like inspired by all the artists around me and wondering what kinds of stuff I'm going to make in the future and just like practicing every day and trying my best every day to improve. I was determined to get better. Um, and I was really, really inspired to draw back then. I would like sketch every day and I would go to bed thinking about the art I made that day and being excited to work on it the next day. And I've been feeling like that lately with like my Fennec Fox painting and this other painting that I've been working on. I posted it on my Patreon, but I'm not going to be posting it for a while because I'm just taking my time with it. Um, so I kind of wanted to share that, how I've been feeling about art, been feeling really good about it and really excited. And I've just been really like inspired by what people around me are doing. Like all the artists that I follow have been inspiring me a lot. Like their work ethic and the people that are very like creative and just like discovering a lot of new artists too. Um, so I'm definitely at another stage in my artistic journey where I'm really feeling that inspiration again. 
and it's really nice. And I hope that all of you are feeling that way too, if you're an artist or that you'll find it because it really is like a magical sort of thing. <laughs> like when you're really interested in what you're doing and like the fact that art is my job and I can feel this way about creating in general is really nice. Whenever I'm stressed or not feeling the greatest, I usually don't draw as much. And I don't think that, it's not like drawing makes me, yeah, I don't know which one comes first, but sometimes getting more into drawing improves my mood. And it just kind of like proves to myself that making things and being creative is like a big part of my personality. And I really should like embrace it more and lean on it more as like a positive go-to activity um, for myself because I really do feel better when I'm sketching more. And I don't know if it's because the sketching makes me feel better or if I'm only able to sketch more when I'm feeling good. It's kind of an interesting thing that I think about a lot in terms of like creating things and like does creating things make me feel good or do I feel good and therefore I'm able to create things or is it sort of like it feeds into itself? It's probably a little bit of both. But I will talk about these markers that I'm using. They're the Ohuhu water-based markers. I was gifted a pack of them a while ago. This video is not sponsored at all, but um, I actually used to use them long before they reached out to me, like a few months ago. Um, I had my own little like 30 pack or 60 pack or something, but now I have so many colors. And the reason why I like to use them is because they're water-based and when you use water-based markers in your sketchbook, they're not gonna bleed to the other side and ruin your other pages. And I don't need them to be fancy, like I'm just sketching. I'm not doing like fancy blending or like highly rendered pieces of art. I'm just adding splashes of color wh wherever I can. And that's why I like to use water-based markers. And they still blend together nicely and they're dual-ended. So one side is a nice flexible brush nib and the other side is a fine point. And I find that the fine liner side is usually a little bit lighter than the other side. And you have to go over a few times to make it darker. So there's a lot of like... There's a lot of stuff you can do with these like kind of cheap water-based markers. I love them a lot. And like I said, I just use like a regular mechanical pencil. And then I scanned all of this. I compiled them into a little like five by seven canvas, added some little, some little stuff on top, cleaned it up and turned it into a print. And it's another one of my little collectible sketchbook pages that you can get on Patreon for the month. I just really wanted to share this like cute little wintry doodle page because I just feel like it's so much fun and it just like encapsulates the type of feeling that I want my art to evoke. Just like cute little cozy animals. It was just a lot of fun. So I really hope you enjoyed this and let me know which sketch is your favorite. Which dog do you like the best? And um, some of these were based off of reference photos, which I put on my Pinterest. I'll try to find all of them and put them there. Um, but then some were from my own mind after I looked at a few references. So I really hope you enjoyed this video. It was a lot of fun to doodle and I love the way the prints turned out too. I think it just looks really fun and wintry and I will see you in my next video.